What is going on YouTube? We're going to be doing a tutorial on the SD40-2 requested by one of my viewers and we're going to be covering the CSX, oh I picked this one, the CSX YN3. I believe I don't have this one installed and this one has pretty clear short instructions so it should be easy just for you to be aware is that not all uh, the instructions are not always very clear especially for those who are not experienced but basically it's the same thing in all of them really you only need the basics and once you have the experience for it it basically basically applies for all of them so all you need for this repaint is the enhancement pack which is this one and I will provide the links down below and luckily this one still supported by searchlight simulations all right let's get started so we're going to go down to the file to download it which i kind of did already here but i forgot to take that one off oh well not a big deal okay so we go to downloads uh, usually it will come in a zip file or rar file you're going to go ahead and extract this i will provide a link for the 7 zip remember we'll have a 32-bit or 64-bit um, version so anyway let's go to 7 zip extract here you're gonna get your files here you got two of them you go to your instructions so basically pretty short pretty simple um, instructions this is great uh, unfortunately I will let you know and I just realized this the UPN which is the Union Pacific N model it's no longer available in Searchlight Simulations websites. They're me they did mention they were going to bring them back, but it's, it's taken them a very long time. I know there's going to be like a major update for Train Simulator Classic now, um, but I'm guessing that's what they're waiting for because I'm guessing if they release, release something, um, they'll mess up the, the mods. So I'm guessing, or I mean, they can still release them, have updates. So, so we have your instructions here. So I'm going to go to the, where I have train simulator installed. So I go to my D drive. I go to steam. Then you go steam apps. Common. You have all the games, whatever you have installed here. We, but we're looking for the rail works. You're going into assets. And that's where you have to be now. From there, now there's two ways to do this. You can just drag assets wherever you have a train simulator installed, or you can go into it and just copy these two files, okay? Copy. And that's the way I do it, because when I dragged it, for some reason, it messes up the ins installation uh, probably I made, uh, maybe I'm the one who messed up, but usually when I do it this way, I really don't have much of an issue. So basically it's where, you know, what happens is sometimes you drag it and it goes into the wrong file. So that's what's happened to me. If I'm wrong, please comment down below. Let me know about your experiences. So it's always good to know new stuff. Okay. So anyway, so once again, we're going to copy these. We're going to your folder where you have uh, your assets. So basically your, your route is where you have train simulator, train simulator installed. And so it's going to be in my D drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Railworks, assets. And from there, you can paste those two files. Okay, I actually do have this one installed. Oh, well. So let's just uh, replace those. Okay. So that's where you, uh, you already know these two are installed, okay? So now we're going to our instructions, and it tells you basically the same, th same thing. Drag the included assets folder into your main real work directory. Example path will be C drive, program files, but see, this is different. So don't let that confuse you. Usually what will happen is wherever you have your files installed, that's where you're going. It could be your C drive, it could be your D drive, E drive, whatever it is. So then we're going to copy, we're going to step two. That's where we're going now. Copy all geo files. That's, that's what I call it. 
geo files from the UPN engine folder path. Okay, so that's going to be on your searchlight simulations file. So let's minimize. No, let's just keep it like that. So we're going to searchlight simulations. EMD, the SD dash, SD forty dash two, and then rail vehicles, diesel, UPN. I have a lot installed here. Okay, so you go on UPN right here. You go to engine, and then you're gonna grab all your geo files. So. All the geo files, which he wow, well, well, excuse me, can't speak. All right, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven files. So we're gonna copy these. Okay, so now we're gonna paste them and then paste them into the YN3 engine folder, which means basically you go back over here. And there's your folder, that's your mod, that's your reskin, okay? Go into that, engine, paste. In this case, we're just overriding the files, not a big deal. Same thing, there you go. You're done with step two. I go back out here like this. Now we're going to step three. Copy all geo files from the cap view folder. So we go back to UPN, cap view, and then just copy your geo files. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten files. Copy those, go back. Now you're going back to your YN3 folder, cap view, paste, overriding the files in my case and there you have it then we're gonna recheck our instructions same thing now copy the phone we're going to, actually we're going to step four now copy the folder called scripts from UPN and paste it into the YN3 folder so we're going back to UPN scripts copy that copy we're going back to the N3. And after you press on the YN3, that's as far as you go. Paste it. In my case, I'm just overwriting the files. And there you have it. Obviously, that's for the engine to work. So that's it. That is it for the tutorial. Um, obviously, we're going to show the engine right now. And pretty simple. All right, let's go. All right, so let's check we have the engine working and it shows. Make sure you're in your locomotive icon. Then go to your right hand side, upper right hand side, and go into search light simulations. Make sure you have the EMD boxes checked, the audio, everything checked. Whatever you have in here, you have it checked. Then we have uh, the MC355 folder. Make sure you have those checked. As you can see, there were not checked, so that means the horns were not gonna work. So now, go to your left-hand side. Make sure you go to the engine icon right here. And you're gonna go all the way down to JR, uh, JRSD40-2 CSX YN3. And it's gonna be for locomotive 8271. So just click on that. And as you can see, it shows. And it's a nice repaint. So now let's just check it and just make put your um, check the um, engineer or engine conductor. Install it on it. We should be good to go. Save changes. All right. So we have issues right here. Let's look around. Oh, the, my controller's not working. Why is that? That's not good. All right, we'll just turn it like this. So we have 
issues and that's within the mod itself so there's I've if I'm not mistaken there's nothing we can do unless we fix the mod ourselves but I actually don't know what to do on that um, the repaint looks good it's been a while since I've been on here it looks great so let's go for a ride Another problem. Let's see. Oh, I didn't realize there was somebody back there, in front of us, I should say. <laughs> Not back there, pal. All right, so we have on run. Let's see. Okay, it's on run. Every everything's pretty much so. Oh, there we go. There we go. My bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've messed around with train simulators, so kind of a little rusty there. All right, the inside looks good. You can see the textures right there, the repaint, they look good. We're gonna go backwards this time, actually. The textures right there, the repaint, they look good. We're gonna go backwards this time, actually, so. Oh, whoops, sir, get your stuff together, man. Okay, we have both brakes off. There we go. So have number issues right there. No, okay, never mind. That's <laughs> that's actually part of it. Never mind. There you have it. And this is my fictional map, so never really got it done. Looks great. I was wrong about the numbers, so that's my bad. Although we have this problem right here. I don't know if there's going to be an update. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me support by liking the video, comment, or subscribe to the channel. Um, any more content, uh, please, any suggestions. But honestly, lately, I haven't had too much time to do any more content. I've been also kind of burned out on train simulator, uh, American Truck Simulator, I haven't done much, um, I've been rather busy, and I know I'm always making that excuse, but it's true, uh, I mean, YouTube, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't pay my bills, so, you know, I, I work full time, I take care of my house, my pets, all of that stuff, so I'm constantly very busy, and taking care of other people, anyway, um, and I'm sure you understand, I mean, a lot of us are busy, uh, we have lives and stuff, so, uh, thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully uh, Please let me know what's going on comment down below. What do you want to watch? What do you want me to do? Um, and once we, once I have a good list of content, I'll try to get back on it and um, yeah, I guess that's it. All right guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time